Good Tuesday morning, everybody. November 8th, Chris Allen on the Sam channel. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Well, we had a, a really good election day as far as the weather is concerned. Uh, turnout looked to be incredible everywhere I went. In fact, I was going to vote at one place. And there was a line standing out there that looked like it could be an hour or two. Went to another place. It was long. And then I went to the third place. And it's like, okay, I can stand in line or maybe not even have to stand in line here. And that's where I voted. So <laughs> that's good, though. I mean, that, it was a good turnout. Uh, I think um, everything uh, weather-wise turned out uh, just fine for election day. And now we move on to the day after and everybody's looking and analyzing and doing all the stuff they do, you know, so congratulations to the winners and, uh, thanks to everybody that, uh, at least played a role and, uh, became a candidate, uh, but did not win. It doesn't mean you're never going to win in most cases. That's the way I look at it especially first timers, you know, it's like you got your name out there. So there's always a next time. Okay. We move on to uh, what's happening today and what's going to happen over the next few days, you know, talking about how this major shot of cold air, the coldest of the season is going to come in and stay with us for a while. And I've got proof of that coming up right now as you look at the uh, satellite and radar this morning nothing out there just there may be a few high drifting clouds but other than that it is a very quiet start this morning uh, there might even be a little bit of patchy fog in some of the uh, river bottoms and uh, some of those areas this morning but other than that uh, not much going on at all all right here's a look at the 10 days up front blend of models this is where we take dozens of computer forecast models and we put them in a blender and it sits there and spins and then here's the result. It doesn't always come to pass this way, but the signals have been there uh, for about a week, week and a half now that we are going to see a major shot of cold air coming in as soon as Friday afternoon and evening. And then for the weekend and even through the Thanksgiving holiday, maybe even through the end of November. As you see here today, it's going to be another warm, mostly sunny day, mid to upper 70s, mid 70s tomorrow, with a little bit of a rain chance now being put in the forecast for Thursday night into Friday. Better rain chances Thanks to what was subtropical storm, Nicole, now tropical storm or depression. It's I'll have to look at the map here. But anyway, Nicole is going to, as I'll show you in the details, uh, is really going to um, help us with some rain. Not enough to get rid of the drought, but the rain chances are looking better than they were yesterday for Friday. And you see a high of 64, and then we plummet. The temperatures crash as we head into the weekend. Saturday, only in the mid-40s, lows in the 40s, and lows are highs in the 40s, lows in the 20s and 30s through the period with a little bit of a warm-up by the end of next week. But if you're looking for 60s, 70s, 80s, no. The only place you'll have 60s, 70s, and 80s is on classic hit, Sam 100.7. See what I did there? Okay, good. I want to make sure you, uh, you caught that. Wink, wink, nod, nod. All right, uh, here is the look at <laughs> the current Kentucky Mesonet Network temperatures this morning. And we are starting out in the 40s, a little bit cooler than uh, some of you uh, were yesterday. There's even some 30 showing up in a couple of spots near the Ohio River. Uh, and there's the one lone coldest spot down near the Cumberland River, which I bet there's some fog there this morning and a temperature of 34 at the Kentucky Mesonet site uh, in Burksville. 
but everybody else is in the 40s and a few 50s. There is a 38 up in Campbellsville. That's rather chilly. And that's where the skies are really clear this morning, uh, where we're seeing a little bit of cloud cover or leftover clouds. That's where it's a little bit warmer this morning. All right, let's take a look at the forecast temperatures now. And we will see that uh, we're going to see a warm day. You better enjoy, like, today and tomorrow, because after that, it's over. It is over as far as these warmer temperatures are concerned. So we start in the 40s this morning, and we climb into the 70s mid to upper 70s this afternoon for most everybody, down into the 40s, mid to upper 40s tonight, 47, 48, 49, close to 50. And then tomorrow, we get one more day to be in the 70s, and even then, we're talking low 70s. It is by tomorrow night into Friday when the rain begins to pull in from the remnants of Nicole off of the uh, Carolina coast and Georgia coast. That's where it's going to come in, and then we're going to see the rain begin to take over. All right, so let me show you that and how this is all going to go down as far as the uh, precipitation shield, the rain coming in from our southeast. So I have jumped past today because today is going to look like this the way the map looks right now just blank pretty much so let me i've jumped ahead to tomorrow um wednesday it should say wednesday down here at the bottom and i didn't change it i just now noticed that why didn't somebody tell me somebody should have told me. <laughs> there's nobody here to tell me right okay here we go Oh, bear with me. I'll just do this real quick. Wind nest day. <sighs> now, because when I looked at this, I thought, okay, we're jumping ahead to tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. And I'm like, today's Wednesday. I got to change that little date banner at the bottom. So now today's Wednesday. Here's looking at Thursday. So let's jump ahead. Here's the rain beginning to come in. Watch it from the right-hand corner of your screen, and you'll begin to see over the uh, Appalachian Mountains, the Smokies. This is getting into tomorrow afternoon. Little pop-up showers maybe for us in the afternoon, but more so into the evening. Here comes the shield of rain leftovers from... Nicole, and overspreading the area, even a little bit of an outer band stretching toward the Ohio River, the Wabash River, western Kentucky, we'll get some of this uh, rain. It won't be a lot, but we could pick up a quarter inch or even more possible Thursday night into Friday morning. Now, that's a lot more than what originally we had in the forecast. A little shift in the coal is making this happen. And there's enough of the breakdown of the high pressure ridge to allow this to come on through. But notice the greater precipitation or the greater odds of getting measurable rainfall is going to be to the east of I-65. And I did say that yesterday, but there wasn't quite this much coverage of rain to show you. But this is a lot better. That that means we'll get something out of it. Maybe a little bit windy at times on Friday. And then the cold front's going to be right behind it. So this, this moisture will meet up with that front. Uh, but a lot of this will be gone by the time the front gets here. Or otherwise, we would be looking at uh, maybe even a stormy kind of a situation with enhanced rainfall. But uh, unless something else changes, that doesn't appear uh, that it's going to happen. All right, now let me show you the uh, forecast maps finally. And you can see the progression of all of this and when it's going to take place. 
Here is the current situation. Here is Tropical Storm, Nicole. Okay, so it's uh, Tropical Storm Strength, still poised to maybe become a Category 1 hurricane uh, as we get into later today with Florida getting the brunt of the rainfall and eventually Georgia, South Carolina, and then spreading that rain in our area. Then here comes our front that is going to be the Arctic front that is going to bring us the colder air this weekend. Here we go into Thursday, into Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. There we go. Remnants of Nicole, and here comes our cold front with that really cold air. So the two are will join forces eventually, but it's going to be more of a nor'easter for the northeastern New England states instead of it being a big precipitation producer for us, we're still going to get rain and we're still going to get the cold air. Uh, but it, we're not going to get a drought busting rain out of this. As you can see, the front will sweep through. The front is actually going to become a little stronger than, uh, the remnants of Nicole. Uh, so it will become a low pressure system. Uh, with rain and thunderstorms, even as close as Nashville, as we get into Friday. But the passage of the front for us is going to happen and take place until we get it past here, which will be early Saturday morning. And by then, the skies will clear, and there is your big, big shot of Arctic air just taking over most of the country nor'easter type situation, deep low pressure systems in the New England states and not much rain anywhere else except the far west coast. The big story will be the colder air. Look at all the snows up in the Great Lakes, lake effect snows going on. And here's our shot of colder air on Sunday. And then into Monday, we're dry. Now, I'll hit the button for Tuesday. Notice there's some moisture here with a southern tracking low off of uh, Brownsville, Texas, spreading rain northward. Now, this map on Tuesday is not going to show us painted in anything, but we could see something on Tuesday or day of next week of frozen nature, maybe, maybe, don't, don't. Chris Allen said it's going to snow next week. I did not say that. I mean, I just did then, but <laughs> it's, it's a big old question mark right now. So I'm just saying it's a possibility. We, I mean, this is like a week or more out. So I've got a, there's a lot to analyze here. There's a lot. Uh, mo this is a head scratcher. One of those head scratchers again. So, Maybe. Remember, I said maybe. All right. That'll do it for uh, your weather this morning. You can follow my forecast all day, of course, on SAM 100.7 and new on WFKN 92.3 FM in Franklin. That's one of our news stations uh, that we have acquired. And uh, now you can hear my weather on that station as well. And uh, of course, i got a radio show, this little thing, a radio show I do every morning, 6 to 10, so I'm going to that. I'll have more Western tickets to give away this morning. Listen for your chance to win tickets to the final home game for the Toppers football and uh, at home this Saturday when it's going to be a bit chilly, but it'll be a great day for football, last home game of the season. Listen and win this morning at Sam. 100.7. God bless you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the radio.